Adding materials to assemblies and parts allows for more realistic and relatable rendered products. Applying materials is extremely simple and can be done a few different ways. Firstly, default materials can be applied using the material palette. After choosing your material, one right click, then apply allows you to pick and choose what parts and assemblies get applied that material. Additionally, from the context menu, you can choose the levels in the specification tree, which will have the material added. When you are satisfied with the items selected for the material, you can simply click on the green check mark and the material will be applied. Another way to add material is by directly clicking on products or parts in the specification tree with a material selected. Sometimes the default materials provided by the platform may not be sufficient. Luckily, the platform allows you to easily create materials with custom colors, patterns, and physical qualities. By using the Create Material tool, we choose our material type, name it, and provide some basic specifications. Now, we can directly add it to our product. Once that is complete, we can edit details in the material, such as the name or the density, for simulation purposes. To customize the visual aspects, we will double click on the material definition item in the specification tree. Then we can choose our custom image that we wish to pattern on the product and click OK. As you can see in a few clicks, we've made a simple material now resemble a solar panel. After the pattern is applied, we can adjust the parameters of the mapping to give us the most realistic visualization. Now that our material is added, we can throw it into a previously created lighting scenario in our ambience. Our product is now ready for a customer demo.